You're good to go? It is all you. Uh, um, talk loud. You're fighting this okay. We are the Quad Consultants. My name is Taylor Davis. This is Malini Powell, uh, Wes Howling, and Brian Hoff. And the reason we are talking to you guys today is we are presenting our uh, hospitality training program um, with the goals that we can get Hayes back to a place where people want to come visit and spend time and make a vacation of their stay. Um, Hayes being located directly off I-70 leads for a lot of opportunities for people to either just hop off for an overnight stay or just see Hayes and see what they have to offer and maybe want to come back um, another time and plan a vacation around it. Um, some of the topics that our group's going to cover today are the objectives of our overall presentation and our training pro program. Um, the educational points that we're going to try to get across to the employees that we're working with and how they should handle the customers that they come in contact with and how they should educate them on what Hayes has to offer so they can get the full, uh, full part of being in the time phase. And the last topic we're going to cover is the incentive program that we have put in place for the employees that go above and beyond what we've asked in the training program and how we will reward them with their good work. Um, for the objectives part, I'm going to turn it over to Malini here and she will explain that to you. Hi everyone, so I'm going to talk to you guys about um, our customer service portion of our training. And basically we want to cover, well they should really have, you know, practice every customer service skill, you know, that there is, but one of the few that we wanted to point out that we thought were important was good communication skills, good listening skills, and of course to always have a positive attitude. Um, but with the good communication skills, basically what we mean by that is just we always want um, our employee to have a response ready for the customer. Um, we don't you know, want them to be like an awkward silence or like an awkward stare. Always have something ready to give back to the customer. And also just having good communication skills makes it easier for them to effectively help out the customer and just to make things run more smoothly and efficiently. Um, with our good listening skills, what we mean by that is we just want them to be able to easily pick up on what the customer is trying to get at so they don't have to keep repeating themselves. And also, um, when an employee has good listening skills, we think that it shows the customer that um, they're, they have their full attention and they're really attentive and um, interested in what they have to say. And last but not least, um, we want our employees to always have a positive attitude. As you guys probably already know, having a positive attitude is definitely contagious and it spreads amongst everyone. If you're happy, then they're happy. Um, we want, you know, when our customers walk into the hotels or restaurants or whatever venue they're going into, we want them to be greeted first with a smile and, um, and also, you know, a polite greeting. And having a smile just makes them happy and it makes them feel more comfortable. And also it just makes the employee look like they're a lot more personable and easier to talk to. Um, and now, for our education of the sites, I will turn it over to Wes. <coughs> okay. Um, just to hint on a couple more. Communication and listening, they're a big part in customer service. And uh, when you can go and have a uh, customer service representative at the desk or whatever, and they can catch something or hear somebody whispering in the back what to do and where to, some things that can go, they can already have some things in their mind that they want to tell the customer when they come to the desk. Or even just mention to them on out the door or something, just a courtesy gesture on something that uh, they can do. Um, I went and talked to a couple managers at some hotels and uh, asked them, uh, I go, what's the question you guys hear all the time? What questions do you guys, uh, do customers come up and say to you? And the first one he said, he goes, what's a good place to eat? He goes, I hear it every day, I hear it 10 times a day. So I figure just today we're gonna focus on that part is we'll just focus on dining, but this plays in effect with everything else that we have, whether it's entertainment, whether it's shopping, whether it's uh, uh, anything else that goes on in Hayes. So uh, we are going to first talk about uh, knowledge of establishments. So if I'm sitting in the in the uh, conference room and you guys are my employees, the question I'm going to ask: What are some places to eat in Hayes? Questions. <laughs> Answers. So, 
Plus, okay, galas, rooftops, something like that. Steak places, all right. So if I ask you, what you guys have sushi in town, which now we do. So you guys can explain that to them. And, uh, or the same thing goes along with entertainment. Or what do you have to do here in Hayes? Okay, Sternberg, it's a big thing we got. Just interact with the customer is gonna, um, first of all, make your uh, organization uh, flourish because they're gonna see how you interact with the customer and they're like, God dang, that was some fine customer service that I seen at the Comfort Inn or the Ramada or whatever it was. And they're gonna come back and they're gonna tell their friends or whatever and um, some things like that. The next thing is quality service. We want you to be able to explain in a uh, quick fashion and uh, the unique things that Hayes has to offer and um, I'm saying I'm a lot. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> some things that we have here, and then we're going to go to information delivery, which is how you're going to relay the message to the customer, whether it is a map or a brochure or a whether it's a map brochure or. Um, pulling something up online. The tools that we have already accessible to us are some pretty important tools and they are pretty effective tools if they're used properly. Some things that uh, we might, if I'm sitting behind the desk and our customer comes up to me and says, well what do you guys have, do you guys have any special events going on? I can say, sure, give me a couple seconds, I can pull up the Hayes website, go down to the entertainment section or whatever, or whatever else is going, that we have on there and it's a pretty easy and accessible site, Hayes USA. And click on the entertainment portion, and it'll show you what the uh, activities and events that are going on, and you can relay that to them. Can we get the map, please? And then with the map, I just pulled this up the Hayes website. And so if they need an event or they need a location, you can explain that, how to get around at Hayes, which is not that difficult. There's two main roads that really are the two main business areas, or they lead to the two main business areas, which is Vine and 13 or 8, and it'll take you down to them areas and you can easily pull it, have this printed out or have something else like a trifold like we would have this and you can just go down point out to the customer, all right, you're here, this is the main road, this is like that. It's simple, it's to the point, and uh, it's pretty easy to uh, relay that to the customer. So with that, um, the manager also said, I go, well, what's the problem with, I go, you guys have problems with relaying the information of what good places are. He goes, yes, we do. He goes, a lot of that's because uh, their customer service representative or the person at the desk is, he's like, they're just unmotivated. There's nothing enticing them to do this. So he goes, there's really just no incentive. So I said, uh, I mean, I talked to him. I go, well, all right, that's part of their project or whatever. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Brian, and he's going to go ahead and talk about the incentive program. Um, like he said, the first question that was asked, uh, or that he asked the um, person that he talked to at the hotel was, um, you know, what, like, uh, what's in it for me? Like, the employees are going to ask that nonstop. You know, what am I going to get out of this? Uh, so we decided to do an incentive program um, about rewarding the employees for helping the customers. Ultimate goal that we have is to get the customers here, to spend money, to enjoy the town of Hayes and to enjoy their stay. Um, we came up with this reward system and the incentive program we decided to use was through the Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau. Uh, the employee will carry a business card with them with their name on it. They will hand it to the customer that comes up to the desk and it has a Facebook website um, on the card that they can do go to. Um, plain and simple, people, almost every single person has a Facebook page. They're on Facebook at least one time a day, if not more than that. Checking on their friends, uh, looking to see what's happening around town. Okay, so if you hand this card to them and you say, hey, uh, while you're out and you go to this restaurant, would you mind going to this website, posting a comment about it, um, about who helped you, where you went, just let us know what, what happened and how your stay was at Hayes and where you went. 
So this is a quick thing and quick and easy for them to do. Um, it, it doesn't take much time at all. It's not like filling out a 10 question survey or anything. You'll probably have a bunch of people um, say, you know, I don't want to take the time to fill out a survey. You know, but hey, if you're on Facebook already checking out your friends, go ahead and fill this out. So that makes it easy. Um, the other thing about that is if the customer goes on Facebook and provides the name of the employee that helped them, um, the person at the end of the month, the employee at the end of the month that has their name mentioned the most on this website, will get a $50 check in chamber checks. That's the reward for the employee who helped them. Um, I think that's fair enough. We didn't want to go too high or we didn't want to go too low because then you'll have problems with the employee wanting to actually do this incentive program. Um, so I think $50 was a good uh, rough area, but if there is a tie, and uh, Stacy helped us with this, if there is a tie between multiple employees with their name mentioned the most, um, we're going to just take every single person that had their name mentioned on this website, put it in a random drawing, and select one person. That's the fairest way that we could do it, and that's the easiest way. So, um, another thing is that we really wanted to do for this incentive program was we really want to focus on the places that Hayes has that other towns don't have. Um, You'll get customers coming into the hotels uh, saying, where's a good place to eat? Or what, what's there to do in Hayes that's fun? Um, and we want to focus on the restaurants like Gellis, the brewery. That's, that's Hayes Brewery. You don't have that brewery anywhere else. Um, Applebee's. Applebee's is a place that there's many Applebee's all over the place. So those kind of businesses get the um, customers that are local to Hayes. We want to focus on the ones that we want to send these people that come to Hayes that they've never been to before. The Q, Gellas, Gutches, um, all those places that are uh, here in Hayes and Hayes only. So that's what we wanted to focus on. Um, and we think our incentive program is a win-win situation. You know, the employees are going to get fifty dollars in chamber checks if they have their name mentioned the most and with this also the customer if they uh, give this business card to some of these restaurants around town um, they could possibly receive discounts say they go to Applebee's, say they go to the Q, whatever you know you get a free medium drink with a uh, purchase of a meal or something like that so they can get discounts at certain places so that's it's kind of a win-win situation for for everybody and we really thought it was easy we thought it was unique different and we really wanted to focus on that so go ahead um, in conclusion we hope you know or we hope you have a little bit more knowledge about the Hayes Convention Visitors Bureau we talked to Jana Jana helped us out a lot um, and with that we are opening it up for any questions <laughs> Did you guys create that Facebook page, or is that the original one that the CDB already has? That is the original one, and she gave us permission to use that. Um, so it, we have, I don't, I think I have a business card in my folder or something like that. But it has the Facebook website on the bottom of it, and you can just go to this website, post a comment, and say, hey, where'd you stay? Okay. You my do? question that plays off of that then is, do you think that it's going to overwhelm the Facebook page as far as, like, if everyone's posting names of the employees that they did, do you think that it's going to pull away from the Facebook page of like the CBB, CBB being able to post like events or anything that they're doing as far as to promote themselves or? Not necessarily. Um, I think if you have a bunch of people posting names of employees that help them throughout town, they're also going to go on this website and they're going to look at other things. I mean. Facebook, you can scroll down. You can see multiple stuff on, on a page. So they're going to see other things that are happening around town. It's a good good technique to get people uh, to look at stuff in Hayes. You know, if they're going to go to this website and post a comment about it, hey, there's another comment that's saying, hey, there's something going on at Hayes downtown. Well, so. it, it also helps the CVB out uh, gain information, gain knowledge of what people are actually seeing and coming through these hotels and other things, which can also help them in their training and further training and um, events or whatever else they do.
other questions? Good. 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 Good.